Jamal Murray sent LeBron James, LeBron James <laughs> and Anthony Davis and Lakers packing with this play last night. Difference of two seconds, the game clock and the shot clock. Worst case scenario, we're going to overtime. They'll get your screen, Murray, to try to break the tie. No time now by the Lakers, I gotta go. James, a bump, a feed, a crunch shot, no! Zero's on the clock, the Nuggets advance! TNT on the call of that one. Kevin Harlan and Jamal Murray in the series, his second game-winning shot. This one not quite at the buzzer, but three seconds left. Lakers lost their second timeout because on your second challenge, there's a lot of confusion on Twitter about this. There was a lot of confusion. Well, the second challenge to be able to challenge again, despite the fact that you get your <laughs> challenge back, if you win your challenge, you are mandated to lose a timeout for it. Okay. So you can win a challenge, but, but you have to sacrifice a timeout to challenge. So that's how they look. Because I was walking And I don't think of- Darvin Ham and the Lakers knew this, because I think if you tell them, hey, you challenge us and win. Yeah, they're not challenging. You still lose your timeout. I don't think he chooses to lose a timeout with three minutes to go. Okay. And so that ended up screwing them, because LeBron... <laughs> LeBron got the ball. Jokic just stood and existed. Yeah, nothing you could do. LeBron couldn't get around him. Passes to Prince. No shot at a game-winning shot there. And buh bye L.A. I was so confused. I was walking in and out of rooms, obviously watching the game, and there, I saw the foul call on Anthony Davis, and I thought, that looked like all ball. You should probably challenge that. And then they did challenge they it. They did challenge and it. And then I left the room, and the Lakers had the ball when I came back. And I thought, oh, they won the challenge. And then it dawned on me like 90 seconds later that they didn't have a timeout anymore. Yeah. Well, they didn't explain and it on I the broadcast. And I was so confused. I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. When did they call a timeout? They just won the challenge. They have the ball. They won the challenge. What? It's that stupid. Makes it's n- dumb. No, if you win the challenge, you should keep your timeout. Yeah, but see, yes. Davis fouled him. On the drive. He, he did foul sure him on the drive, yeah. but when the foul call that they made yeah, of going up for the shot, he had all ball in that moment. I, I don't know. That was really confusing. Also, like, not – there's not much you can do with three seconds left. That was not a very <laughs> well-planned-out final possession. Just an inbounded five feet from the baseline with yeah, three you gotta, seconds you to go. Yeah, you got to inbound to half court. you got to heave it somewhere. Or give it to somebody who's quick and can get a shot up. Don't I, – I don't know. That wasn't a very well-drawn-up play. But the Lakers, once again, almost beat the Nuggets. Another series, delightful delightful close losses. I saw the stat um, of the 200-plus minutes of the total game. In the series, the Lakers led for like 169 of the minutes. I think it was like 67% of the series they led. Yeah. And they lost <laughs> and in they five lost, games. Lost in five games. <laughs> down two game-winning shots from Jamal Murray. I, yeah. Can I go on a little mini rant on Jamal Murray for a second? Is that is that applicable here? No, it's not allowed on your <laughs> sports radio show. How dare you go on a sports radio rant? I'm getting a little peeved with all the playoff r- praise that he's getting. A little peeved. <laughs> Wait, little little T.O. would You're zagging, man. I'm what zagging is this? on this. What so, is this? like, Jamal Murray's a great player. Yeah. He's an awesome postseason player. He's right. clutch. He hits big shots. Okay. How many guys in the NBA play on a team in which they have a teammate that gets double teamed every time he touches the basketball? Okay. I just I think there's sometimes we miss the context. Like he has been put into this postseason hero status yeah. of like the greatest play, you know, playoff player of the modern generation. Look at all these 50 point games and game winners that he's hitting. It's like how many guys could do that if they were playing with Jokic? Is my question. So okay, and take yeah. having no defensive focus on him. Like if you're going into guard Denver, what's your focal point defensively every game? Well, it's 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 not Jamal Murray. Well, here's my order. It's Jokic. And then my second one is a sneaky, make sure who's defending Gordon is aware of the baseline alley-oop yeah. lob that's coming almost every time. Sure. And then it's Murray. Here's my only re- rebuttal to you. So it sounds like you're tired of Jamal Murray getting the love, where I would say I think everybody even acknowledging his playoff success is still saying he's he's their second best player. I yeah, I get are, that. Are you feeling like it's not that I've, they're saying he's their best player? I've just seen a lot of the like play, like there's the meme out there it's not playoff Jimmy, it's playoff Jamal. Like I've seen a lot of those. Yeah, he's hitting game winning shots. I know there's a big difference though when you're the main scoring threat on your team, a la Jimmy Butler last year in Miami, who outside of him on the Heat roster, who else are, who's scaring you on the offensive end of the floor? Was Kyle Lowry terrifying you? Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson evil. freaks you out. Tyler Hero taking 30 37 shots. Does that make you pee your pants? Like, give me, give me a break, dude. He's playing with Jokic, who gets double teamed every time he touches the basketball. That is going to give him favorable matchups every time he's on the offensive end so, of the floor. Okay. 
So what's the take exactly? I just I don't like putting him in a category of all-time great postseason player because I think it's unfair to other guys who had to be the number one guy on their team and face the number one defensive threat on the other team every single night. But of like number twos on great teams, if the Nuggets win the championship again, is yeah. he not certainly in the conversation? He's the best I just perimeter it, defender. Yeah, sure. I'm just You're saying. I think there's a Jokic lot of the six five. We did I think put a white a, guy on him last <laughs> night. We, they did put a white guy on him last night. I'm saying there's a lot of guards who, if they played with Jokic, I think would be doing the same thing, if not better. You sound like you kind of mm. wish like Dame could have had this. Yeah, you, like an actual teammate with a pulse who was not just an All Star but a multi MVP, best player in the league. How would Damian Lillard fit in that offense? Double teaming Jokic all the time. But but isn't Jamal in the clay, Scottie Pippen, like... See, that I think he the number is. Two. I feel like he's being raised above that level, and I don't want to raise him above that level. I don't think he is being I raised. I think he's being raised. I think he's being raised. Hmm. The raise, the roof is being raised. If Costanza did a radio show, I think that's where George Costanza's going today. <laughs> he's yeah. angry that Jamal today. Murray's getting any love. He's getting too much love, dude. Scored he's getting nine too of their much last love. eleven points. Yeah, he was pretty big in the fourth he's quarter. Huge. He's huge. He's great. It's, I mean, when, uh, yeah, Jokic gets double teamed. Your reaction to that moment was <laughs> <laughs> stop <laughs> yeah. raising this guy. I mean, every possession you dump it to Jokic, and what do the Lakers do? They send a double team after one dribble or immediately, and then somebody else is open. You swing it around. Oh. Hey, here's Jamal Murray. Yeah. Or I'm running pick and roll. You got to stick with Jokic on pick and roll. He has to hit those shots. That's yeah, easy, yeah. but nobody's guarding you, damn it. <laughs> I don't know what the take I, is I, here. Yeah. Help me out. I, I don't know. I think he's off the reservation a little bit. There. I don't think I am. I'm like, Devin Booker take aged well, okay? I'm on a hoops run right now. Everybody's, I think it's coming to an end. Everybody's I, agreeing with yeah. my takes, man. Everybody's agreeing with my hoops take. I took the Timberwolves to, to win the West before it was a sexy thing. I'm on a hoops heater right now. Get out of my way. You are on a bit of a hoops yeah. heater. I'll I give you that. I can't wait for this series. I th- I can't think. I, yeah, this is the best series in the second round. There's not even a close second. Not even a close second. No. It's a distant Number one best series in the playoffs. I think the winner of that series is going to the finals. I don't know if that's a hot take. Yeah, I agree with that. OKC was phenomenal. I think they surprised some people who didn't watch their season. (laughs) They're playing nobody in the playoffs so far. Like you get new. Like they they, almost lost game one, and then they just trounced them. I think they just had a yeah. It was just needed a chance to collect themselves and get into a playoff mode. They hadn't been there for a while, and then once they figured out New Orleans couldn't score, then they put it on overdrive my youngest uh she loves to laugh she loves to be goofy and from time to time she'll do something funny and we'll laugh and she'll do it again and we kind of laugh and she does it the third time it's a little bit of a chuckle the fourth time and i'm like look you need to learn as a comedian <laughs> we need a new bit when to move on and i think that's the equivalent to what dirt is doing with this basketball heater yeah. thing yeah. no i'm riding the heater Devin booker overrated no. i hit that and, one and edwards of all the young players going forward Ta-ding. hit it jamal murray getting too much credit no. for being jamal great murray's not, pretty, not, not resonating. Special. Saw a tweet last night. We've got to put him in a conversation with one of the greatest postseason players of all time. I'm like, oh, God, just, just stop it. <laughs> See, that's your problem. You just let one it. tweet dictate yeah. all And there was a lot of traction on that tweet. Oh, a lot of retweets on that. Who cares? A lot of quote tweets. Yeah, robots. <laughs> Russians. <laughs> Porn in bio. Yeah, yeah, link in bio. <laughs> Nudes in bio. Want to see my tatas? <laughs> well, yeah, well, Dave Kingsella does. Not what? <laughs> mine. He wants to look at mine. Shout out to Dave. I think you really just railroaded this segment. I actually think that take was really solid. I'm I'm pretty pleased with my work here.